वेलकम एवरी वन इन दिस इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन वी हैव अ सेमी सर्कल एंड अ सर्कल इन साइड दिस बिग ब्राउन सेमी सर्कल विथ सेंटर ओ नाउ फ्रॉम वन एंड ऑफ दिस डायामीटर फॉर ब्राउन सेमी सर्कल अ टेंजेंट इज ड्रॉन टू दिस पर्पल सेमी सर्कल एंड इट्स मीटिंग द ब्राउन सर्कल एट पॉइंट सी फ्रॉम पॉइंट सी द पेंडिकुलर इज ड्रॉप डाउन एंड द लेंथ ऑफ दिस रेड लाइन सेगमेंट इट्स गिवन एज फोर सेंटीमीटर नाउ एक्साइटिंग पार्ट इज विद दिस लिमिटेड डाटा वी हैव टू फाइंड द रेडियस ऑफ दिस blue circle let's check this interesting solution we'll solve it in two steps first we'll find the radius of this brown semi circle and then we'll find the radius of this blue circle so time being let's remove this blue circle now here let's assume the radius of brown circle that's r cm and the center of this purple semi circle is point p now po length that will be half of radius or r by 2 now let's assume this point of tangency as point e let's join ep now ep is the radius and cb is the tangent and thus this angle here will be 90 degree let's join ca now diameter that's ab always subtends an angle of 90 degree so angle c that will also be 90 degree now if you look at the triangle that's bep that is yellow triangle and triangle bca the bigger triangle both have got this angle b as common and both are right angle triangle and thus both the triangles are similar by angle angle similarity and thus the ratio of corresponding sides will be equal so here we'll say that bp that is this hypotenuse upon ep will be equals to ba upon ca now here putting the values bp so this length bp that is r plus r by 2 or 3 r by 2 and this length ep that is radius of this purple semi circle that's nothing but r by 2 so this will be 3 r by 2 upon r by 2 now ab length ab is the diameter of brown circle so that will be 2 r and ac so this ac is what we are interested to find so this will be 2 r upon ac now here r by 2 and r by 2 will get cancelled down and simplifying it will get value of ac as 2r by 3 so let's write down ac here as 2r by 3 now let's remove this what we have done here and look at the triangle cda that is this cda triangle this is a right angle triangle here and full triangle again that is triangle bca now both the triangles this angle a is common and both the triangles are right angle triangle so again by angle angle similarity this small triangle and this full big triangle they are similar to each other as the triangles are similar so ratio of corresponding sides will be equal so here we can say ca upon ad this is ca upon ad is ba upon ca now ca length that is we have calculated 2r by 3 and ad ad is 4 cm which is given to us so this is 2r by 3 upon 4 ba length ba is 2 times of radius or 2r and ca is again 2r by 3 solving it by cross multiplication and we will get here 1 by 12 is 3 upon 2r or value of r here is coming as 18 cm thus the radius of this brown circle that's 18 cm now we can remove all this construction which we have done and bring back our original blue circle let's assume the center of this blue circle is point q and this point where it's touching the diameter of brown circle that's point f now let's join qf that's the radius of the circle and radius is always perpendicular to the tangent also let's join qp now if you look at this triangle that's pfq the length pq that will be the radius of purple circle plus radius of blue circle purple circle its diameter is 18 and thus radius is 9 and for blue circle we have assumed radius as r so pq length that will be 9 plus r now here po that's 9 cm of let's assume this is x cm so here applying pythagoras theorem 
will get 9 plus x square that's your pf square plus r square is 9 plus r square now lhs let's apply a plus b whole square and rhs here again applying a plus b whole square now simplifying both the side 81 will get cancelled down r square will get cancelled down so simplifying it will get this equation or value of 18 r is x square plus 18 x now we need one more equation in form of r and x to solve for r now for that equation now here we have used the fact that purple and blue circle were in contact with each other now we'll use the fact that blue and brown circle they are in contact with each other so let's first remove this construction which we have done and name this point of contact as point g we know that when two circles that is blue and brown circle when they are touching each other then their centers and point of contact lies in a straight line so o q and g they will lie in a straight line now q g that's the radius of blue circle we have assumed as r and q o that will be o g or 18 centimeter minus r so o q length that's 18 minus r now here again we are getting a right angle triangle applying pythagoras theorem we'll get x square plus r square is 18 minus r square now rhs let's apply a minus b whole square and open the bracket here now simplifying it both the side r square will get cancelled down so we'll get an equation x square is 364 minus 36 r 36 r is two times of 18 r and 18 r value we have already found so putting this 18 r value here so we'll get our equation as x square is 364 minus 2x square that's 2x square and minus 36x now taking all the terms on one side we'll get our quadratic in terms of x solving it by factorization we'll get 3x minus 18 times x plus 18 is 0 but x cannot be negative so 3x minus 18 is 0 or x is 6 centimeter now putting this value of x as 6 centimeter in this relation we'll get value of r as 8 centimeter and that's our answer i hope you enjoyed the solution i will see you in next video till then tata bye bye